Hey guys, Carl from Kyle's here from Young and Wildly Successful. Just been speaking to Hayden from Advanced Fitness. He's asked me to record a quick video for everyone in the gym that's working really hard and you're looking to get the best possible results. So, you know, my work is traveling around the world, helping people with peak performance to try and get the most out of their lives through different strategies around mindset and optimum peak performance. And I want to share some distinctions with you that I've learned from working with 50,000 people in 64 countries. And these distinctions are going to be simple but really profound for you. If you apply them, it's gonna help you achieve even better results, not only in the gym, but also in life. So let me talk to you, I guess, about the biggest thing that I've seen that most people do that causes them to get less results rather than more results. And they put all of their emphasis on the end result. Now we're being told by society for such a long time, you gotta know what you want, and that's absolutely true. But if we only focus on what we want and we link all of our happiness and our joy and our inspiration and our passion towards oftentimes an unachievable and unobtainable end result in a short amount of time, we're not going to feel very good about ourselves. And what we know about the science of fulfillment, the science of achievement, is that the more you feel, the more you do. If you don't feel successful, you're not going to be successful. If you don't feel healthy, you're not going to be healthy. So this is my little secret for you, that if you seek progress and not perfection, you're gonna get there a lot faster. What does that really mean? It means if you work out a goal to lose 15 kilos or 20 kilos, whatever your goal is, instead of focusing on, I've got to achieve the 15 kilos, I want you to celebrate every kilo along the way. I want you to celebrate every gym session along the way. I want you to celebrate every clean meal along the way. Because if we seek progress, we'll build what's called momentum. And momentum is the secret towards all success. No matter if you've achieved success in business, in relationships, in family, in your health, doesn't matter. It's always about momentum. So the first principle I want to share with you is to seek progress, not perfection. Don't just go for the end goal. Go for every little goal along the way. The second step that I want to share with you is about willpower and how many of us battle with this, right? So we get cravings, we want to try and succeed, but then, you know, our willpower, our willpower gives in over time and eventually we end up eating crappy foods that puts us further back uh, that, you know, it's not work, working us towards our goals and dreams. And this is for the science of willpower. And this is not from me, this is actually from the University of College London in obviously the United Kingdom. And they just discovered that willpower is like a muscle. Much like if you're in the gym, you'll be aware of this, in the beginning of your gym workout, You've got a lot more strength and a lot more endurance. And towards the end of your gym workout, you can do, you can lift a, you know, a, a two or three kilo you know, bell doing a bicep curl, and if you've overused that muscle during the gym, that's gonna be so painful, almost impossible for you to do. Because our muscles need time to recover and grow. Willpower is exactly the same. And so many of us were overusing, we're overtraining with our willpower because we're trying to make too many decisions. This is the secret I want you to get. If you want to improve your ability to make good quality decisions, you need to make less of them. Because what we found is that willpower starts very strong in the morning. But by the time we get to the end of the day or the end of a big week and we're stressed and we're tired, we make poor choices. And it's not just in health, it's in every area. So what I want to encourage you to do is to effectively manage your stress and to manage your willpower. You have to understand it's a finite resource. You've got to plan it effectively. So the way you can do that is by making better quality decisions on a morning and therefore set yourself up for success. So plan your day in terms of your meals well before you ever get to the point of making the food choice. I found when I was running a company, a million dollar business in six countries around the world, traveling all the freaking time, it was very difficult for me to eat well if I didn't plan my day. So I would actually make all my food the night before or the beginning of the week, so I didn't even have to think about food, it was already done. And yeah, it can be a little bit boring at times, but I'm getting enjoyment and satisfaction in so many other areas of my life, I'm willing to take a hit. So don't wait until you're in a moment where you feel hungry to make a decision, because that's destruction and willpower will always wane when that happens. Instead, what we wanna do is put ourselves in a position where we've already set ourselves up for success. So pillar number one, seek progress, not perfection. Pillar number two is to make sure willpower for you is a finite resource, you use it effectively by planning for success. The third principle, the third pillar that I wanna share with you, and this idea comes from not only the idea of seeking progress, not perfection, not only the idea that you know, we wanna to continue to utilize and build on our willpower, but the third pillar is about the saboteur or the self-sabotager in us. And every single one of us has it. Every successful person you know has a self-saboteur, has a part of them that wants to try and mess things up just before they get to the finish line. And you may have seen on Facebook recently, there was this story of a guy in the United, uh, United States he was a marathon runner and he's got to the finish line and he's about 15, 20 meters away and he starts to celebrate on the finish line. And he doesn't realize that there's another runner running behind him and literally on the finish line he just gets beaten because he celebrated too soon. And so while we want to celebrate all the wins along the way, I need you to understand that we all have a part of us that as we get closer to a goal, as we start to make serious progress, we start to mess things up. 
And you know, we could go into a whole video about why this happens, but just understand we have it. So instead of going out there and trying to fight it, just be aware of it. Be aware of the fact there's gonna be a time where your body, your mind tries to mess things up. You try to eat the wrong things, or you try and find an excuse why you shouldn't train for whatever reason. You've gotta be aware of it, and you've gotta understand it's not your truth. Your truth is that you have the ability to be an incredible shape. You have the ability to have an incredible, healthy body, a great relationship, great finances, that's the truth. But a Sabbath tool will trick us into believing something different. So the best way to uh, prepare yourself is to understand that the Sabbath tool is gonna come. And for me, it's always at the very last hurdle. It's the very last thing before I achieve the goal. It's so easy to slack off as you get close to the finish line. But I've understood now that that's gonna mess me up in the biggest possible way. So I always leave a little bit of extra fuel in the tank so I know the last five or 10 meters of my goal is always gonna be the hardest because I'm going up against the part of me that's resisting the final outcome and the final goal. The part of me that's trying to keep me safe. So be aware of it and during the fast, last couple of weeks of your challenge or your goal or objective, make sure you're speaking to your coach at the gym every day. Make sure you're speaking to the team of the girls at the gym every day, really supporting each other so that you don't self-sabotage. And if someone misses a session, you're on them straight away saying you've got to be at the gym because we want to make sure you're in this together. So those are three principles that are going to help you in terms of mindset and peak performance for fat loss. Step number one, seek progress, not perfection. Step number two is to make sure you manage your willpower effectively. It's like a muscle, we can overuse it. And step number three, be aware that we all have a saboteur in, inside of us. Know what your saboteur is, maybe even give them a name, and tell them that there's no place for you in this goal or dream, and also make sure you have a little bit extra in the tank and a little bit extra accountability when you know the saboteur is gonna come for you as well. Guys, it's been my privilege to share this video with you. Hayden and the guys at the gym are absolutely phenomenal. They're the best at what they do, so trust their advice and their wisdom. And if you need anything from me or the team at Young and Wildly Successful, feel free to go to youngandwildlysuccessful.com and we'll be more than happy to support you into the future. Lots of love and God bless, and make sure you live life on your terms.